I'm Cassidy Regan, and I'm with the Peaceful Prevention of Deadly Conflict Program at FCNL. And over the past nine months, one of my biggest projects has been focused on how the U.S. can support Kenyan efforts toward peace before their next national election. And one of the biggest aspects of this work is collaborating with other Quaker organizations in Kenya, including Kenyan friends who have been doing peacebuilding workshops in their communities. For the month of December, I was actually lucky enough to go to Kenya to learn more about these workshops, as well as about current U.S. initiatives to help support peace in Kenya. I spent a few days in Nairobi, meeting with people from USAID, the U.S. Embassy, and other U.S. agencies, but I spent the bulk of my time in western Kenya, where friends have been doing their peacebuilding workshops. One of the most memorable experiences I had was on Mount Elgon, a beautiful peak that has a devastating history of land conflict and displacement. Kenyan Friends have been doing something called Healing and Rebuilding Our Communities workshops there, or HEROC, uh, nicer abbreviation, uh, and they focus on trying to help communities in the aftermath of violent conflict begin the process of healing and forgiving and rebuilding. And while I was there, I was able to meet with seven participants from HEROC workshops on Mount Algon, and the stories I heard were devastating of loved ones lost, land lost, livestock lost. But after HEROC, I also heard about experiences of mediation, nonviolence, and forgiveness. One of the participants that I spoke with had a story about a neighbor of his who was from a different subtribe. The two had engaged in boundary disputes uh, around cattle grazing for many years, such that over the past few months they hadn't been speaking at all, didn't even acknowledge each other's presence. After a Healing and Rebuilding Our Communities workshop, this participant decided that he needed to mend his relationship with his neighbor. So he asked him if he would be willing to have a conversation about their differences. And a few weeks later, he said that they were good neighbors who were able to discuss their disagreements and say hello to each other from day to day. Uh, now that I'm back in Washington, I think that what I learned in Kenya was absolutely invaluable. Perhaps most importantly, the experience taught me that communities can be empowered toward peace and nonviolence, even when there are huge obstacles in the way. And I feel that if the United States and the international community were to invest more in peacebuilding workshops like these, both at home and abroad, many communities worldwide could be empowered toward peace.